Hello. Um, I got some really good news the other day. My, or Kevin from the producing company thing that's doing the Animal Planet show, um, texted me and it was probably the best text I've gotten in a long time. And it said, actually, I'll read it for you because I have my phone with me. Actually, I never have my phone with me anymore. People have been trying to get a hold of me. I don't charge it. I just, I, well, here's a story. The first time I ever had a cell phone was last Christmas. Yeah, I'm 19. I got lost on the streets. Well, it's a small town. Everybody knows me, basically. But I did knock on a stranger's door to call my parents because I was done with dance lessons. And they forgot about me. That's when they decided to, you know, maybe they should have phones. Stupid. But anyways, it says, by the way, Willie is now officially your legally adopted dog. So I am now the legal owner of a service dog, a psychiatric service dog. And that is exciting. I'm scared because I've never, I've never had a dog by myself before. Like right now my dog sleeping on my clean clothes but I've never I've never been like I don't know I don't know if a service dog is different I don't know if I need to feed him something I'm kind of freaking out about it but I'll have all that figured out it's gonna be okay And this past week has been hell, except for I went to my friend's birthday party and it was, oh my god. Every time I see her, I feel recharged emotionally. It's wonderful. I, I love her. She's my muse. She's my inspiration. She's warming my heart but you know other than that I haven't <laughs> I haven't progressed anymore I, I, I can't stop pulling it's every day every day for at least an hour picking is I've never had a day without picking I've never got a day it's just been normal for me, so... So I don't really know what it's like to stop. I've never had a before to see, like, oh, scar-free kind of thing. No, I've always had scars. I've always had bumps and stuff. I've always had flaws. And I guess that kind of helps me live with the fact that I do have flaws, and I'm always going to have flaws. And that's what makes me me. So I kind of like the metaphor that I've developed for it, but the pulling thing is getting annoying. Now, I'm having chronic headaches every day. Like occasionally they'll just be like caffeine headaches because I haven't had my coffee today. I haven't had my coffee today, but I had a Dr. Pepper, so it's okay. Um, usually my doll helps that, but when you're pulling for an hour a day in places that you've never pulled before, like here, right here, I've never pulled from back here, or right there, or right there, all those places, never pulled from there before. So automatically you get super mega huge headaches. They're lots of fun. 
and my scalp bleeds a lot more than I would like it to. I mean, not that anybody would want any part near their brain bleeding, but it, oh, it feels like a giant bruise all right here. Just all right here. And I can barely, I can't brush my hair. I avoid taking showers. Well, I shower, but I avoid washing my hair because it hurts to touch my head. It's, <laughs> it's awful. And then wearing bandanas all day provides for lovely, lovely migraines. Because, you know, like when you wear like a headband, like one of those just, I don't have one because I put all of my having hair time stuff in a box when I'm not having hair. And you know, like those headbands that you wear that pinch you right behind your ears. And sometimes you just have to take it off because you're getting this huge headache. It's a pressure headache. Yeah, that's what happens because of these. Lots of fun. But uh, I'd rather have this on than freak people out by walking down the street. Oh my god, she's bald. Oh my god, do you have cancer? What's wrong? Can I do anything? Do you need a wig? Do you wear wigs? No. No, for the last time I don't have cancer. And I've confronted a few people about that. It's... It's... It angers me a little bit because they're feeling sad for me for the wrong reasons. <laughs> yeah. It's not terminal. I'm gonna live. And... I don't want people feeling bad for me because they think I'm dying and no I'm just nuts I I'm not dead or I'm not dying and go cry for the people who are go put your sympathy there I got this I got this it's me I I gotta I gotta stop myself so whatever but I got some fuzzies growing on right here. Nice and dark and nice and fluffy and I keep pulling. I keep pulling. I threw away my tweezers because I knew I would be pulling this little thing little thing right here. But got into my mom's tweezers, which is one, disgusting, two, unsanitary, three Oh, why do you have tweezers? I need to stop. And then I started pulling on my eyebrows. You see how they're so far apart? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm just going to start wearing makeup all the time. Try and fix these. Because they're bugging me, and as long as they're bugging me, I'll think about them. As long as I think about them, my fingers are going to go here. It's awesome. Anyways, um, moving is going very slowly and awfully and stressfully. And I never want to move again. Alright. I hope you have a beautiful day and go for a bike ride, have a glass of iced tea, paint something. Doses. Or whatever you say to see that. Bye.